Good morning, sir. My name is Michael Turner with Beach Debate Publications. I'm calling today to inform you of the new issue of our bridal magazine planning to launch in the middle of the summer. Beach Debate Bridal serves as a handheld magazine featuring vendors and contact information for anyone along the Eastern Shore. We feel that you'll be a great fit in the magazine because of the advantageous location you have along the beach with all the beach weddings that will be taking place this summer. If it's not too much to ask, I'd like to set up a meeting to further explain any questions or concerns you may have. Um, do not hesitate to give me a call at 410-924-6401 or you can shoot me an email at mt67974 at goals.salisbury.edu. Once again, my name is Michael Turner with Beach Debate Publications. Thank you. Hello. Good morning, sir. How are you doing today? Well, thank you for calling me back so quickly. Um, I was just curious if you were interested in scheduling a little meeting to further explain um, Beach to Bay Publications and what we can do for you. All right. All right, sounds good. Um, so this Thursday around 4 o'clock work for you? All right, perfect. I will see you there. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hey, Sarah, it's nice to finally meet you. Hi, Michael. Nice to meet you, too. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? Doing pretty well. Do you mind if I sit down? Yep. Go ahead. All right. This is my business card. I've got all my contact information on it. That way you can have that. Um, I heard about the Kardashian dress. That uh, that could have been a fun task to handle. Not quite. She wanted it to be done earlier, but that's just something we could not do. I can totally imagine. It was a pretty complicated dress. Um, Before we get going, I want to ask, is there anyone else that you wanted to bring to this meeting today? Nope. This is it. All right. Um, so let me just run through a quick agenda of what we're going to be covering today before we get into it. Um, first, I just want to talk to you, figure out what, what's going on, what your problems are, how I can fix them, and then I want to get into exactly what I have to offer you. Um, then at the end, if you have any questions, I'll let you ask them. Um, then we'll wrap it up because I know you're a busy lady. Sounds great. All right. Firstly, I would like to ask, um, I heard your sales aren't doing too well. Um, would you be able to explain why? I think it's because no one really knows who we are. Everyone knows someone like David's Bridal and big companies like that, but not us. All right. All right. Um, I kind of agree with that. Would you be able to explain your marketing strategies, how you guys go about advertising that kind of stuff? We rely heavily on word of mouth. We do have a billboard, which is how I think that the Kardashians found out about us. Okay. Um, quick question. When you when you first started dealing with your customers, did you ask them how they heard about you or um, what made them decide to conduct business with you? At first we did. All sales associates were required to ask, but now it's not something that we do anymore. Not anymore. All right. I gotcha. I gotcha. Um, when you did ask them, what were their responses usually? They were mostly people who drove by and people who wanted to know how we are and people who talk to their friends about us. Okay, I kind of expected that from the Salisbury area. Um, so it seems like you guys got a little bit of an issue on your hand. Let me now ask, are you familiar with Beach to Bay Publications, what we do? I've only heard about, about it because of your voicemail. I don't really know exactly what Beach to Bay does. <clears throat> okay, well if you can imagine anywhere that the average 24 to 40 year old woman would shop, um, on the way out, they would notice a nice rack of these magazines by the door. Those are free Beach to Bay bridal magazines. And what that means is it is a wedding planning magazine that we offer, like I said, for free to any potential customers trying to plan a wedding. It has vendors from um, DJs to cakes, tuxedos, formal wear being in between there. Um, so like I said, it's free to the customers. They grab it. They see your name. It helps you out. Um, so, how exactly does it work? 
<clears throat> well, you brought up David Brado earlier, um, so I'll just use them as an example. So what we what we would do, for instance, is meet up, call David's bridal, find out what their issues are, kind of like what we're doing right now. Um, then we would figure out a perfect solution for them, a package that they would like. They would I would explain them to them. They would pick the package. Um, then they would just reap the benefits of uh, free to the customer advertising. The customers wouldn't have to pay for this sort of advertising, so the customers like that. So. What do you mean by packages? The, I like the idea of customers receiving it for free, but how does that work? Well, we have certain packages that, that can fit to each of our customers' needs. For instance, like you having an issue starting off the bat with advertising, we would have what we call our new shop package. Um, our new shop package, what that means is you would have uh, the full title page would be yours, as well as a two-page segment in the middle on slightly thicker paper, so as soon as they flip through it, they're going to feel that thicker paper in the middle and they're going to obviously look at your guys' page. So how much does something like the new package cost? Well, if you want to take a look at these, these right here are the prices and this would be a copy of the magazine. As you'll see, the new new shop package would, you consi you would consist of a title page like this, as you can see, we used Vogue as our company. They would have the middle layout on these two segments in the middle, as you can feel the thicker paper. Um, and that would be $1,000 for the new shop package. Okay. So, I, as nice as that sounds, um, I'm not sure I would spend $1,000 on a magazine advertisement in a magazine that's not quite popular. I've heard that before. Um, well, we do also have other packages um, to alleviate some of that, that harm when it comes to spending the money. For instance, we have what we call our full page ads. That would be something similar to this, where you just get the one page, nothing special about the paper. Um, where you get the full page advertisement, that would be $600. Uh, we have the half page advertisements, which are like this one, where you would just get one half a page. And then towards the back, we have what we call the Remember Me packages, which are just little coupon size um, slips on the back of the page for the companies that are already gotten big and they just want people to remember that they exist. For instance, David Bridal, that's what they started that They started out with the new, the new shop package, doing the other way down, half page, full page, and now they're sending in the Remember Me package where when people, I mean, they obviously think of David's Bridal nowadays, but um, they didn't start out that way. Now, that sounds a lot better, but how can I be sure that this is going to work? I already spent five fifty on a billboard that no one even talks about. Well, um, the David's Bridal example I brought up earlier, I didn't exactly mention that it actually happened. Um, with David's Bridal, <clears throat> I use them as an example because you mentioned them first, uh, which is actually kind of convenient, because we did this with them. They were actually one of our first customers. Um, I've tried to find an issue of the one where they were using the new shop package, but I couldn't come across one. Um, but they, like I said, started out title page, middle page is thicker. They had received enough marketing and publicity from that that they had gotten a lot of customers, enough money to expand. The expansion led to more advertising. Before you know it, they are one of the largest formal wear locations in the nation. Wow, so it seems that it's actually quite successful. Yeah, David Bridal would, uh, would say so. I'm um, not convinced that it's worth the money. Alright, well, um, let's, let's break it down this way. You said that you spend $550 a month, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, $550 a month. So if you break that down into a year, that's about $6,600. Um, so if you take that $6,600, that's how much you spend a year on a billboard that you said nobody really ever sees. So considering you stick with our new shop package for a full year. Keep in mind, it's seasonal. It's once every quarter. So you would have $1,000 every quarter. That's $4,000. $4,000 to have the same sort of advertising that David's Brado received um, that could expand you guys into something similar to David's Brado. That would be great. Okay, so how would you feel if I could today save you $2,200 each year 
as well as giving you that sort of advertisement, that freedom, knowing that you don't have to worry about the advertising yourself, making commercials yourself, paying for a billboard that, let's face it, billboards are useless nowadays that nobody's ever going to see. That sounds like something I could work with. All right. Is this, is this something that you would want to make official today? Um, as much as I would like to, I would rather start off by getting that billboard down before I make my next move. No, I completely understand. Um, don't worry about it. But um, would you like to meet up later after you get the billboard down, after you get your decisions made up? Um, we can meet up and discuss further options. Definitely. How about Fridays? They work best for me, me time. Uh, right, so how about next Friday Next Friday at noon? We can grab lunch afterwards? Sounds great. I'm looking forward to it. All right, well, thank you for the talk. It was very nice to meet you. It was nice to meet you too, Michael.